In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use artificial intelligence to write my SEO meta descriptions for my website. But before we get into it, I wanna mention some free resources that I put together for you in my SEO basics kit. Things that include a keyword research planner, the content planner that I'm gonna show you today, and a bunch of other things that will help you on your SEO journey. And you can find that at mysiteranked.com forward slash kit. So the tool I'm gonna to be demoing today is Conversion AI which is a tool that has a ton of value and actually will help you write a lot of different things, including you can see her right on the screen, things like uh, you know, Facebook ads, Google ads, uh, long form content. I'm not gonna get into all that today. I'll probably have future videos on that. But what I'm gonna use it for today is to help me write my SEO descriptions. Now, we're gonna do this for a law firm client and I've already done a lot of the heavy lifting. Uh, I've written uh, the blog post titles. I've done my keyword research. What I need to do here is basically just uh, write my meta descriptions. So your meta descriptions, like what shows up down here. And if you don't actually uh, put it into your website, Google will just grab anything. Check out my video where I actually walked you through how I wrote the blog titles, selected the keywords, wrote the URL, and then I personally like to write my title tag myself, but Conversion AI will do this work for you also. But um, check out that video, but I, I, I still kind of like to do that part myself. But what I'm gonna show you here is how this robot can write our meta descriptions and why I'm cool with that is because one, your meta descriptions aren't as important they're not a ranking factor they're more of a conversion factor when somebody you know sees you in the search results they can gl glance at this and if it's written well they might be more likely to click on your site more so the title is going to you know get them to click so that's why i put a little bit more energy into that but i'm going to log into conversion ai this is a paid tool they've got different tiers currently i'm on the unlimited plan but i think their lowest plan starts at like $39 a month and you get 5,000 words a month. So lots of different ways you can use this tool. I'm not gonna get into that in that video, but I am gonna go to the SEO tools, which currently allow you to write title tags and meta descriptions. So the one that I'm gonna utilize today is the uh, blog post one. Because what I did here is I essentially have, uh, you know, 14 blog posts that I'm optimizing and I just need to update the meta description to something a little bit more, you know, SEO friendly and one that fit our length. You know, your um, meta description should only be like 160 characters long. So uh, my tool here you can get in my SEO basics kit at mysiteranked.com forward slash kit and you'll uh, get a spreadsheet just like that that will basically allow you when you you know write something that's too long it turns red if it's under it will stay uh, neutral and if you're spot on it'll turn green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into the blog post here. If you use a spreadsheet like the one I just mentioned that I've already done the hard work. So I'm gonna put my company product name here. We're gonna say removing an executor of a state in North Dakota. This is all related to a state law. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I'm gonna make that my product name. You could put the company in here, a state, a state law attorney. So put your company name or your product name, then put the blog post title. So I've already done that. So my blog post title is this. Removing a personal representative of a state in North Dakota. And then the blog post description. So I could write a description of my blog post, but I'm gonna keep it simple and just grab the old meta description and just grab that and use that. I think that pretty much tells the story. Uh, lastly, just grab the keyword. And like I said, all this hard work has already been done if you've followed this process and you can by watching my previous video, which I'll link description below. But if you do this, you make your life really easy when doing this. So the next thing is just select your outputs. Um, I usually do like five or six. Again, this is a AI machine doing this, so they're not all gonna be winners. 
So if you're on the unlimited plan like me, you can put as many as you want. You know, if you're on a lower plan, you know, you might want to limit it to three or four, but generally go no less than three. And so this is going to give me title tags as well. And so if you want to use it for that, you can. But again, be cautious. Your title tag does lend a lot of SEO value opposed to your meta descriptions. So don't leave necessarily just leave that up to this machine here to do that. Be very cognizant of how you're writing your title tags. But what I'm going to do now is just check this out, um, read a few, find one that I think is appropriate. What it does is it writes the meta description and then gives you like additional keywords. Learn how to remove a personal. Huh, this one's pretty good. Let's see. Um, I kind of like that one. I think I'm just going to go with that one. So the next thing I'm going to do is I like to, this is just like a personal preference thing, is I drop it into a Google Doc and then I like to format my meta descriptions in title case. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. I just think that's just something I've been doing lately. I just think it stands out a little bit better. Um, but I need to probably run some more tests in, on, in terms of does it actually convert. Bert, but that's just my personal preference. So I do that. Then what we'll do is we'll just throw this into our sheet. And here's the other thing about conversion AI. It's not perfect. It's actually usually, you know, a lot of times these are too long. So I need to kind of clean this up a bit. So I'm doing something like, okay, I like this first part. Learn how to remove a personal representative in North Dakota. Our estate attorney explains the steps involved. How about explains the process? including how paper is filed with the court. Yep, like it. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And obviously, you know, I, I wanna caution you, put some thought into this. I'm gonna kind of fly through this, but you know, don't just leave this up to conversion AI because it's not gonna be perfect. So when you can, you know, uh, give it a, another glance. So I'm gonna grab that, throw it. I'm just doing this so I can read it. Okay, I think that's pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, we'll do one more. So this next one is going to be for pet trusts. Ooh, this should be fun. So did you know there's such a thing as a pet trust? So for that, we're still gonna leave the company name as a state law attorney, but now our blog post title is Planning for Your Pets, Pet Trusts in North Dakota. So uh, their current Meta description is pets are no longer personal property. They are members of your family. You know, that one's actually not that bad. So let's see what conversion AI comes up with. So there's our blog post description. Now I just need to go grab my focus keyword, which is pet trust North Dakota. And we'll do six outputs. And it's just gonna throw it right here above what it already output earlier. All right, the new estate law, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, is it new? New estate law, I don't know. So I'm gonna put their old one into, because I actually don't hate that. So I'm gonna throw that here. I might do a combination of that with something else here. Learn about the process of a pet trust, how it works and whether or not you need one. Ooh, kind of like that. So I like this part. So this is what I do. I grab, you know, kind of bits and pieces. Find out how a pet trust can ensure the safety and security of your beloved pets. I love it. That one's good. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm probably gonna grab, I liked this one, but I just like, yeah. All right. So that looks, that's probably gonna be about the appropriate length. In fact, it's probably gonna be a little long. Uh, learn about, so I'm gonna shorten this. So rather than learn the purpose of a pet trust, and I'll delete this one, learn the purpose of a pet trust, I'm gonna do learn how a pet trust works. Learn. And whether or not you need one, boom. All right, I like that. So I'm gonna put that over here, see how long, oh, and that one's even a little short, which is totally fine. You can actually be short. You don't necessarily have to be 150 to 160 characters. And I, I think that one works. 
So hopefully that gives you some insight into how you can use a tool like Conversion AI to uh, speed up the process when writing meta descriptions for pages or blog posts, like in this case. And again, uh, I wanted to give you some insight into you know, my thought process. I don't necessarily rely on the tool exclusively. I like to add you know, my flavor to it, and I'd encourage you to do so. So hopefully this gave you some uh, insight that will help you on your SEO journey. And again, if you wanna get tools like the spreadsheet I just showed you, go ahead, you can get it for free at mysiteranked.com forward slash kit, and we'll see you in the next video.